Hey guys, Rebecca Austin from Strive for Savvy Kajabi Consulting, and I'm here to share with you the new Kajabi Encore theme on your page building. As a founding member, I had the opportunity to get early access to this theme, and I'm super excited about this launch because as much as I love Premiere, the Encore is already proving to be pretty stinking amazing as far as what we can do with it and the versatility on the editing capabilities inside this theme. So let's jump on in there and I'll give you a quick preview of some of the features of Encore and how to navigate it. So essentially what we do is we go to our website page builder or of course from the Kajabi Assistant, you can always type in pages or page builder and it will take you right to your page builder page. Then we are going to select new page. Now you can see that we have several different Encore themes that they have set up for us. So one of them is a home page because as we've discussed in other videos, the index when you're setting up your home page is fine, but one of the best things to do is to create a page and then set it to your home page. There's a lot more editing capabilities, there's a lot more things that you can do by creating a home page rather than go through editing through your index. So here they have a home theme already set up for you. There's one for sales. We have the long form sales. We have the opt-in, the video opt-in, and a lead generation theme. So lots of different options to still be able to jump in here with Encore and pick the one that best fits what you are wanting it to do to start off with. Of course, it really boils down to it doesn't really matter which one you pick because all of them are incredibly editable and you can, just like in Premiere, delete blocks and add blocks and do all kinds of really cool stuff. If you're wondering if Premiere is gone, nope. They've just moved it down into the legacy themes down below with some of the former themes. So let's just jump on in here and pick one. So I'm going to go with the home page and show you some things that I've already done because one of the things I'm doing is I'm creating my partner page. So let's jump on in there and I'll show you what I've set up with the home page using Encore for my partner page to promote Kajabi. Okay, so as you can see, it looks just a little bit different in that we now have these little highlighted things. You can see here where it says column. So these are grids that does not show on the preview. So if you notice when I'm editing, I can see these columns and it shows section and here's a section, and this is a column, and this is a column. You can see where we have all of these little grid outlines. This is really handy from an editing standpoint. And if I go to my preview, those are gone. So that's strictly from an editing standpoint. Okay, so inside Encore, here are some of the differences other than the fact that we have these columns. So when we go into, this is a hero with a video block. So as you can see, there's already a video in here. Makes it super handy for setting up your spacing and making it much more mobile friendly as well. Uh, let's just go ahead and add a section. I'll show you, show you some of the things in the way they have this organized. So first they have it divided into specific categories. The first one is blog and we can set in here if we want one blog post, two posts, three posts, or four posts. So if I select the two post, for example, it just pulls in two columns. If I do four posts, you can see now we have four columns. So that gives us a lot more uh, capabilities from this standpoint. We still have our custom content and our custom code blocks. We can set up a social sharing block, which is super handy because then you can just add in your icons and say, don't forget to follow us on our social media pages. We can attach it to an event and have a countdown timer. We have our FAQ and our FAQ grid. The difference between the two is this one shows up as stackable columns 
and then our grid goes into more of a compact pattern. Features, again, is broken down by columns. One of the problems we had in the past is we would try and do features, but then we couldn't quite get it to line up all the time perfectly, especially with our images and call to actions and making everything line up really nice. And the way they have it now with this features is we can do go two, three, four, and feature card columns. So if I wanted a three column feature, we can set that up like this, which is kind of what I have set up up here is a three column feature where I have edited this and then added the call to action at the bottom. So that's essentially what those are. We still have our heroes, but now we have a more customized heroes where you have your main banner or a banner image. This one includes a countdown with a form, with image and with video. And of course, once we do each one of these, so let's just go with a uh, hero with form. And I'll go ahead and add this one. We can still, inside this block, we can add content and each, it's look how customizable this is. This is so stinking cool. So we have inside this block, I can also add custom code, a multi-video launch, a pricing table, offers, text, video. So you can build out a block to be pretty much whatever you want inside that block. So it gives us so much versatility on our editing capabilities and how we can get some really super customizable looks. The other thing is that inside each one of these, for example, on this one, I have the image and then I have my text. I wanted this text for my personal preference on my editing for this to have the white block. But if we go in here, when we're doing our editing, we can change the width of the columns just by selecting the, instead of having to go, you know, one out of 12 or two out of 12, we just simply go in here and set our width. We can add our links, but then check this out down here. We have our block settings. So for the image style, we can adjust the radius. So that will be the radius around the edges. So I can actually just slide this up and that changed because I'm on the image right here. So that changed the border radius on the image. Our call to action, we can do all kinds of settings just like we normally would, but also change our border radius. So as I did, this made it more of a circle as opposed to a rectangle. On layout, we can adjust where this is in relation to outside and inside spacing. We can make it flush and we can place it on its own row. Background, this is the one we were talking about where we wanted to um, change the background color. So originally it was clear where the lettering was inside. So I can actually change this and I can go back to the transparent background and now it just floats over top of our background. Or we can make it whatever color that we want to. Super cool, super handy, very, very versatile on what we can do with this. Click save and change it back to my white. We can include animations. So you can actually have a direction animation delay and an animation duration. So as someone is scrolling, these can kind of slide in if you want to, as well as doing our time reveals. So you can see where each one of these sections becomes much more powerful, much more versatile in how you can do your editing and make it look exactly the way that you want to and continue to be incredibly mobile friendly. So we move this over to mobile, now you can see where it's just perfectly lined up with all of the different segments. We have our buttons and our call to actions and our images and everything just slides through there just perfectly. So that's just a really quick overview of the Encore theme and how awesome it is and how incredible they have just continued to raise the bar 
on Kajabi being the best platform on the planet for hosting your online training programs as well as using it to grow your business in multiple ways, particularly with also not only Encore coming out, but they've just launched the new app. So if you'd like some more information about Kajabi to sign up for Kajabi, if you've never used it before and would like to start a free trial, click on the link with this video as well as going to my website to find out more about my intensive and incredibly powerful Kajabi mentorship program to help you completely get started with Kajabi to become a Kajabi expert. So we hope that you enjoy the Encore theme as much as I have and look forward to getting started with playing with this really, really awesome and powerful theme. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe this channel so that you can stay on top of all the latest tutorials that we release on Kajabi.